who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I'm gonna try McDonald's new bacon Big Mac and their bacon cheesy fries. Now, you guys know how I am about fast food already, especially when it comes to the commercialized restaurants, right? Um, we've had experiences where uh, the food really doesn't look, uh, you know, look like they presented to me, right? So, um, I'm not expecting much, but I want to try it out, you know, because it's always surprising me when you hear bacon as a main ingredient at a fast food place, because I always feel like the bacon part isn't really genuine or they don't give you as much, right? So, I already got my food. I'm going to let you guys check it out. And we can answer that real quick, right? So, check it out. Now, the crazy part is, as you can see from the fries, they kind of just threw it in a little one spot. You know what I'm saying? But, I don't know, whatever. And then, <laughs> from the Big Mac, you know, it looked like a Big Mac or whatever. You know, put a couple pieces of bacon on it, so that's cool. Um, I mean, I don't really know how to feel yet, because I haven't tried it, but I'm gonna get ready to try it now. So, let's see what we working with. Let's try the fries first, because you know they get cold fast, right? Not really a fan. Um, it's not horrible. But it's kind of like soggy a lot. You know what I mean? Like even with the bacon. I mean, I, I, I don't know. The cheese, and the cheese still tastes like it needed to be warmed a lot longer. So I'm definitely not a fan. So I'm trying to eat like the plain fry on the side. So I'm not really a fan. Um, So I'm kind of glad that they did put it on one side so I ain't really got to worry about messing up the other fries, right? But, I mean, I definitely feel like it could be better. They could have took more time with it. I feel like they didn't because they felt like there wasn't no reason to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think they kind of felt like, you know, at the end of the day, we serve so many people, we just put it on there. And they'll accept it for what it is. And, and again, that's fast food, right? So I'm not completely surprised. Now, the Big Mac. Off top, the first thing I would say is I'm disappointed because I take the bread off. Look, check it out. I want y'all to see that. Dry. There ain't no sauce on here whatsoever. Then I want y'all to see my meat on the top. Look at that. No sauce. Dry. So I'm already not feeling this meal, so to speak, if that's what y'all want to call it. Not really happy about it. Um, but we're still going to try it out because I want to give that unbiased opinion. So, let's just, look, my cheese ain't even all, all melted. My cheese all cold. Look at this. It's crazy. But I'm going to try it anyway. So, I'll let you guys know how it is. I don't really taste the bacon. But it's really salty. It's really 
salty. So I know the bacon is on there. It's really, really salty. So, all in all, I definitely think uh, it was just something quick they might have came out with. Um, you know, just to kind of keep their people interested. Or their customers, I should say. But I guess this is why I'm not always a customer. Because <laughs> it's just some things I just feel they should just leave alone. And this is one of them, okay? So, the fact that, um, you know, the burger still tastes like a, a regular Big Mac. Except, you know, it's bacon in there or something because the, the sodium in it is super high. The fries are soggy. Um... And the cheese sauce, it's, it seems like it's undercooked. You know, the bacon isn't crispy or anything. So I'm completely um, disappointed in the meal itself. Um, but again, you know what I mean? I wouldn't have known if I didn't put it to the test, right? Because that's what I do. So shout out to McDonald's for giving me the opportunity to rate this. And uh, I would have to say on a scale of 1 to 10... Oh, I give it a four. But the only reason why I give it a four is because I can actually still eat it. You know, the Big Mac, I, I can eat it. The fries, I just move it to the side, I can still eat it. But as a whole, for the actual meal itself, the presentation wasn't good. Um, as you guys can see, um, I just felt like they could have put a lot more into it. The service was good, though. Um, so I'm not, I'm not upset about that, but... Um, at the same time, the amount of disappointment in this meal does not make up for that. Okay, so um, that was a, a hurtful meal to have. Luckily, I wasn't starving, so it didn't ruin my appetite. Um, so I'm going to definitely still eat. <laughs> so that's what I do anyway, right? Um, but I definitely, you know, appreciate McDonald's giving me the opportunity to uh, rate them, whether good or bad. I got to let you guys know what's going on. You know what I mean? So, the word for today is recognize. Okay? So, the reason why I decided to choose that word for today is because I want people to recognize uh, a difference of opinion. Okay? I'm not, uh, you know, trying to shit on McDonald's. But at the same time, I want you to recognize where, and I want them to recognize as well, where they're lacking. Where they could improve. You know, that's what that's what we do as consumers. You know, we give feedback. So I want them to I want them to recognize and I want you guys to recognize, even people who may work there or people who love McDonald's, whatever the case may be. I want you guys to recognize this is not me hating on McDonald's. This is not me giving uh, a biased opinion of McDonald's. This is me literally saying and showing you that they could have done a lot better. Okay, so I want you guys to you know, recognize when someone's giving an honest opinion, someone's giving constructive criticism, um, and recognize the difference between hate and disgust and uh, constructive criticism and support, okay? Because, you know, that's what I give. You know, I, I try to keep it classy, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying not to uh, shoot it down the wrong lane because we all know anybody could. We could take it to another level if we have to, but I'm not going to do that. It's not, it's not worth that. You know what I mean? But definitely to you guys, I, I, you know, if it was me, I would definitely do things different. Okay? So that's what I'm trying to say. I would definitely do things different. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys would too. You know, given the circumstance, it could have been a lot better. That's all I'm saying. So... McDonald's? Wait. How we say that? McDonald's? Better recognize. <laughs> I ain't heard that in so long. But this is it for the situation. You know what I'm saying? You guys comment below, man. And let me know. You know, if you guys have tried this, how it is. You know, I would like to know. I want to hear what other people think as well. You know, a McDonald's in your area maybe they made it better you know what i'm saying so either way let me know guys and 
you know, comment below. Give me your <laughs> your perception and your take on it. I'm all in. You know what I'm saying? Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for all my latest content, guys. I'll be dropping every day. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.